thing he did for people, he did little things for people. He was a person who felt passion every day of his life. He was a person that loved his people. Thousands came together to honor the late Marion Barry. The former D.C. councilman and mayor was laid to rest by friends, family, and constituents during a service that featured speakers from council members to the Reverend Jesse Jackson. Rebecca Cooper joins us now in the newsroom with a look at the final goodbye, and there were lots of fond remembrances, Rebecca. That's right, Melanie. Many came to honor Marion Barry. He was a man who many say was larger than life that was often called the mayor for life. Marion Barry's funeral today was fittingly both a spiritual service and a rousing rally. Stand on your feet and give Marion Barry a rousing hand of applause. With mayors past, present, and future all paying tribute and a crowd fist pumping and chanting for the man dubbed Mayor for Life. Several notables spoke with the D.C. Convention Center overflowing with those who came to pay tribute, with memories from widow and former First Lady Cora Masters Barry. He was a person that loved his people. I stopped letting him go to the gas station because he would spend all of his money, not on the gas, but to people, given the people who was asking for money. She laughingly recalled long trips to the grocery store if she took her husband along. He loved to linger and talk to the people he served. Where you been? Where you work? Oh, how long you been on that job? How old are you? How many children you got? Where you live? What church you go to? Who your people? <laughs> this is him every single day. He was a person who felt passion every day of his life. It was fellow civil rights leader Jesse Jackson picked as the eulogist who recalled Barry's days from a poverty-stricken Mississippi family that picked cotton to the boy that became the first Black Eagle Scout, a civil rights protester, then leader, then D.C. mayor. Jackson eulogized that Barry rose from indignity and disgrace to amazing grace, spending a lifetime in public service after coming to Washington at a time when blacks had few rights in the nation's capital. In D.C., Men have emancipated Washington and much of Southern Maryland and Northern Virginia is all about the work of Marion Barry. And Jackson talked about the current protests, telling Barry to take this message to other civil rights leaders now past. Tell him there is a new generation. Their children and grandchildren, the young dreamers, are standing up and fighting back, marching, standing up, lying down, dying in, fighting back. Tell them we're fighting back. It was Marion Barry, Jackson said, who overcame both adversity and his own setbacks to lead the way for others. A life, Jackson says, that will be well received by other leaders now in heaven. You fed the most, you hired the most, you lifted the most, you endured the longest. They'll see your jewels and, and your service to the crowd. Tell them, rest assured, they'll say well done. Tell them you fought the good fight and you kept the faith and finished. Tell them. It's dark, but the morning comes. Now, in addition to Reverend Jackson, dozens of leaders spoke at the funeral services that lasted over four and a half hours. Afterwards, Cora Masters Barry and Mary Barry's son Christopher hosted a private burial service at Congressional Cemetery in Southeast. For News Channel 8, Rebecca Cooper, Melanie, back to you. Quite a sense.